If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? CLICKWID here back again with another Madden 17 Budget Series episode. Guys, today the position that we're going to be taking a look at is arguably the most important position in the entire game, and that is quarterback. Now, obviously, there are a few different styles of quarterbacks. We're going to kind of get into that, but in this video, I'm going to show you guys kind of the differences between some of the more expensive quarterbacks and some of the guys that are a little bit cheaper. You might be able to take advantage of some of the cheaper guys and kind of save some money at the quarterback position. So, with that being said, guys, let's take a look here at the very first quarterback that we're going to see in today's video and that is of course a guy who you know hasn't really made that great of an impact in the NFL or at least he hasn't done a great job in the playoffs but Andy Dalton is a guy who actually has a pretty damn good quarterback card to start the season here um, obviously he's an 82 overall we're comparing him to Ben Roethlisberger on the right side of your screen who's going for about 40,000 coins and Ben Roethlisberger is an 87 overall elite now obviously Roethlisberger is the better overall card but I think these attributes are actually a lot closer than most people would think that they would be like if you take a look for example at their throwing accuracy attributes yeah Big Ben's ahead of uh, Andy Dalton and all of them but he's only one or two ahead of him in all three so uh, again the accuracy attributes here are very very close uh, Andy Dalton actually has a little bit more speed and acceleration than Big Ben as well the throwing power is a little bit different obviously Andy Dalton's a little bit lower than Big Ben who has one of the biggest arms in the entire league with a 90 throw power uh, Dalton is in there at an 86 which is still respectable uh, the one area where Big Ben really does uh, shine is throwing on the run and he's got a 90 throw on the run attribute whereas Andy Dalton's all the way down at a 78 but what I will say is I've actually used this Andy Dalton card and his throw on the run as far as I've seen is actually very good uh, I think throw on the runs a little bit overpowered right now so far in Madden 17 so I, I think that this is actually going to be an acceptable attribute for the time being unless they patch throw on the run uh, which is a possibility but for now I would actually say that the 78 is decent enough obviously Big Ben's going to be out there throwing dots when he's on the run and uh you know so that's a big advantage that he has but uh the price difference between these two you know six seven times is expensive for big ben so if you don't have that coin uh definitely check out this andy dalton because he's kind of a, a pretty similar version uh or pretty similar to this version of big ben i should say so next on the list, guys, we've got another pocket passer, uh, and this is Philip Rivers, and we're going to be comparing him to Nick Foles, the flashback Nick Foles. Now, obviously, you guys see there's a lot of red. Uh, it's only red for Philip Rivers, only green for Nick Foles, meaning that Nick Foles is literally higher in everything than Philip Rivers, but you would imagine that he probably would be given his 75,000 coin price tag, whereas Philip Rivers is only going for 2,000 coins. He's only a 79 overall, but a lot of the attributes that Philip Rivers has are very very important uh, and he does a good job in a lot of things now the big area where I will say that Philip Rivers struggles is that he's one of the most immobile quarterbacks in this game 63 speed with 63 acceleration that is not very quick uh, running with your quarterback does seem like it's going to be, be somewhat effective at least at the beginning of the season so Rivers doesn't bring that to you but if he does sit in the pocket if you're not somebody that scrambles around and, and tries to throw on the run and things like that this rivers card is very very good uh his throw power is a little bit low at an 84 but that throw accuracy their throw accuracy short is a 90 with an 86 throw on the mid or throw mid and then uh the throw accuracy deep being a 79 which is a little bit light but still decent enough i would say uh throw on the run i talked about it before with andy dalton i i feel like that attribute with a 75 is still going to be acceptable although obviously Nick Foles with an 87 is quite a bit better and then in play action Philip Rivers kind of shines in this area with a 91 it just so happens that Nick Foles is one higher at a 92 so he does show up with that green attribute so uh, again Philip Rivers good for a very very cheap card if you're looking for a guy who's just a pure pocket passer uh, he's definitely solid enough if you're not somebody that throws deep I will say throwing deep in this game at least into coverage is not quite as effective uh, so you know I don't think that throwing deep is quite as important as it has been in previous years uh, but even if you do throw it deep I think he's still got some decent enough throw attributes that he's going to do a good job for you 
So next, guys, we're going to venture on into a new type of quarterback, and that is the mobile passer. So we're going to take a look at Tyrod Taylor on the left side of your screen. We're going to compare him to Cam Newton. Cam Newton's one of the most expensive quarterbacks in this game right now, 115,000 coins for him. Tyrod Taylor's only 3,000 coins. Uh, and again, guys, the prices in this video are based on what we've seen so far, uh, mostly on Xbox, just because there's hardly anybody playing on PlayStation 4. But... The reality is that the prices could change once the game launches tonight, uh, which is going to be Monday night, Tuesday morning, whatever you want to call it, at midnight. This is going to be uh, the rough prices, at least, though, of the cards for the time being. So uh, keep that in mind. Now, Tyrod Taylor is a very, very good card. I'm actually quite impressed with this card because he has a lot of really, really nice attributes. For example... 84 speed with 88 acceleration that makes him one of the fastest quarterbacks in this game he might be the fastest quarterback in the game now that i think about it i really didn't take a look but i believe that he is definitely up there with the fastest quarterbacks in this game right now uh, with that 84 speed and 88 acceleration so he can definitely get down the field and pick up first downs for you his throw power is actually very good as well at an 86 now his throw accuracy attributes are not great he's only got a throw a 83 throw accuracy uh short 79 throw accuracy mid and a 76 throw accuracy deep uh, which means he's tied with cam in the throw accuracy short and quite a bit behind him in throw accuracy mid which is where i make a lot of my throws so that's a little bit concerning to me uh, but i will say that the 79 is still an okay attribute it's not a complete detriment so uh you know keep that in mind the throw accuracy deep being a 76 is a little bit low again but i've kind of found that I, most of my guys are still making the, the throws you know I, I really haven't had a whole lot of issues with my quarterbacks sailing passes so far in the game uh, maybe other people have but I haven't really experienced that too much now the throw on the run attribute for Tyrod Taylor is an 84 which is very very good obviously it's not up there with Cam Newton being a 91 but the throw on the run with being an 84 is still very very acceptable uh, he's gonna be able to do a good job if you're scrambling and you have to make a throw on the run the play action is probably the area where uh, Tyrod Taylor is the worst. And you can imagine that he has to have a couple of attributes where he's just not very good. Otherwise, this is going to be a 85 overall quarterback card. So uh, they did lower his play action all the way down to a 71, which means that the defense isn't going to bite quite as hard on those play fakes. But still, uh, you know, again, play action is play action. So if you're playing against a user, you're really trying to bait that user and make him come up on the run. Uh, so I, I think that this is still a decent enough attribute to be able to do that. So uh, again, Tyrod Taylor, very, very good, very, very mobile. And he's a guy that you can get for super, super cheap right now on the auction block. And I would definitely recommend trying him out if you're somebody that likes to throw on the run or run with your quarterback. Next on the list, guys, we have Marcus Mariota, and Mariota is another mobile passer. This is a guy that I would determine to be very, very similar to Tyrod Taylor, but we're going to be comparing him to Andrew Luck, who is an 85 overall elite, so not quite as good as Cam Newton, but a lot of the areas, again, Mariota is just as good, if not better, than Andrew Luck. So you take a look at the speed and the acceleration, 85 speed with an 87 acceleration. Um, I believe that Tyrod Taylor, if I, if I remember correctly, it was an 84 speed with an 88 acceleration. So very, very similar in that department. Throw power, Mariota is an 84, which I still believe is definitely acceptable. Uh, I don't have a problem with that attribute. The 90 for Andrew Luck is a little bit higher, though. And then obviously the throwing accuracy attributes, Luck is a little bit higher in each of those. But I will say Mariota with an 84 throw accuracy short and an 81 throw accuracy mid is still acceptable. His throw accuracy deep being a 74 is where you get a little bit concerned, but he does have a great throw on the run attribute with an 84. Uh, again, his play action, just like Tyrod Taylor, is pretty disastrously bad at a 67, uh, whereas Andrew Lux is an 81. So obviously, Andrew Luck is the better overall quarterback card here, but Mariota is a very similar card to Andrew Luck, kind of a, a little bit faster, not quite as accurate but still very, very similar to Andrew Luck. So got to like that for 4,000 coins, whereas Andrew Luck's going for more around 40,000. So again, uh, a budget version basically of Andrew Luck, maybe not quite as good. Next up and last on today's list, guys, we've got what I would consider to be the deep ball quarterback. So on the left side of your screen, we've got Carson Palmer. On the right side of your screen, we've got Phillip Rivers. Carson Palmer's going for about 10,000 coins, so still very cheap at the quarterback position. Uh, whereas Phillip Rivers, this is the seasoned veteran card, going for 100,000 coins at an 86 overall. Pretty damn expensive for that card, but he is good in a lot of attributes, so it does make sense. Now, 
I will say that Carson Palmer and Philip Rivers are both, as we probably can imagine, not very mobile. They're pretty di damn slow. 68 speed for Carson Palmer, 65 for Philip Rivers, and neither of them have good acceleration. The throw power is kind of what we're looking at here, and the throw accuracy deep. So if you're somebody that likes to chuck the ball deep, we've seen a lot of the other quarterbacks on today's video kind of struggle in that department. But if you look at Carson Palmer, he's got an 87 throw power and an 80 five throw accuracy deep so he's going to be able to get the ball down the field and make those throws that are deep and that's very very important if you're somebody that likes to throw four verts and things like that i mean that's that's still a very effective play call in this game uh just like it has been in previous years now philip rivers obviously is a little bit more balanced uh he does have the throw accuracy attributes being a little bit higher with his throw accuracy short at a 93 but if you look at, at carson palmer all of his throw power and throw accuracy attributes are excellent they really, really are. His throw on the run is not good. Again, his speed is not good. His acceleration is not good at all. Uh, his play action is still damn good, though, at an 84. So uh, I, I actually look at this Carson Palmer, and if you're somebody that doesn't throw on the run or if you're somebody that doesn't run with your quarterback, this is going to be one of the better cheap quarterback cards that you can find in the game to start things off. So I definitely like Carson Palmer. Um, obviously, the Phillip Rivers is going to kind of vary in price between uh, what we see on the Xbox and the PlayStation when the game first launches. And this could drop pretty substantially just because he's not mobile. But this is kind of where it's at right now. So uh, with that being said, guys, those are your top five budget quarterback cards to start off this Madden 17 Ultimate Team season. Hope you guys, guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a quick favor and drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. And guys, let me know in the comment section below, what are some other quarterback cards that you've tried that you really like? Are there specific attributes that you're looking for in your budget quarterback cards? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.